So how many of you remember band leader Spike Jones? It's funny, when I was in college back in the 1970s, I used to listen to him all the time, but not because I especially liked big band music back then. I think he started out as a, a band leader playing normal songs, normal big band era songs. And then at some point in his career, I guess he decided to do really goofy and funny takes on some of the standards. So he became famous for doing these really wacky versions of some of the old classic big band era songs. And then he also made up his, his own songs and created quite a little niche for himself. I don't know if anybody else was doing that before or after, but he really, I guess he saw an, a need or maybe he was just a comic at heart or, or a comedian at heart and just loved to, to play and goof around and have fun. And so he created some really funny songs. And the way I heard about him was on the Dr. Demento show. Who remembers the Dr. Demento show? Very popular on the radio. And he would just find the strangest, funniest, most offbeat songs that had ever been recorded. And Spike Jones was definitely a regular on his radio show. Who says trips to the cemetery can't be fun? When you think about it, cemeteries are a place you go to remember people. And so many people laid to rest in cemeteries were really funny or bring back lots of fun and funny memories. So even though they can be very sad and very tragic at times, I think they bring back just as many fun and funny memories as sad memories. At least I hope so. And right next to Spike Jones's crypt, or actually just a little bit below and to the left, is a guy who appears to have had a sense of humor. He's got an arrow pointing to his wife next door. So now maybe he wasn't doing it to be funny. Maybe he just wanted to make sure that family and friends or casual passers-by like me happened to know that uh, she was there too. <laughs> so either way, I mean, it does seem kind of funny, but I've no I don't think I've seen too many headstones or, or crypts with arrows pointing to their spouse to the right or the left or above or below. So I think it's perfect that he's laid to rest or that they're laid to rest right here next to Spike Jones. I haven't listened to a Spike Jones song in years, probably since college and the Dr. Demento show. So maybe on the way home from the cemetery today, I'll listen to some of his songs on my Spotify channel. Let me know if you're familiar with the Dr. Demento show and or Spike Jones. Share your memories in the comments section below. So until our next trip to the cemetery together, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.